Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about RP developer, current tools and responsibilities. To apply each other. Here is a uh, one of email uh, job for Bosk RPA developer that is in four to six years. What is the expectation? Experience in interface level large scale RPA development and implementation using Groupism or Viper. <coughs> Sorry. So large scale RPA development means suppose your project has more than five or ten process. So you are managing, handling and developing that is large scale RPA development and implementation. The phases of implementation is uh, dev production the implementation. So what is other advanced knowledge of Microsoft packages, MS Excel, VBA, VCO, MS Access and MS Word. So VCO is mainly used for diagrams. VBA scripting it is used for to create macros. Because when we, we are going to use about macros in RPA development, whenever we have some calculations. Think suppose a one plus one is equal to two, two plus two is equal to four. It's a kind of lot of calculations. It will come in the banking sector or some other. Mainly they will go with VBA scripting of macros. So RPA developer must have some basic knowledge about VBA, which means macro development. In automation anywhere you can directly call macros in blue prism through business process you can call through VBA you can call this will business objects and what is the next expectation experience with basic oriented programming especially dotnet javascript development yes most of the developers of RPA they are thinking only the tool specific experience is must but the uh, thing is wrong uh, and thing and thought is wrong they need some additional basic experience in dotnet and other development areas generally they have in they have to perform code stage and they have to perform database related things in RPA most of the things will be happen inside the development suppose thing you have most of the things will be happen in sql server as well you have must have basic experience in sql server thing suppose uh, you have one lakh record or ten lakh records will come uh, for your board process so, so you can't process all the suppose Will come 10 lakh records. You have what we have to process 10 lakh records at in per day. Uh, so, reading row by row in that case, you can't, it is not possible to go with the Excel or some, of the, some other things. So, all the 10 lakh records has to be moved into database, bulk insert. Once you move into database, and it will take one by one record. So, this is the way you can. You have to think and you have to work out on it. So, the RPA developer must have experience in SQL, SQL, uh, or else or Oracle, but usually SQL database they are using mainly. So, that is very important and uh, strong and recommend gathering and analysis, able to work with the structure and the methodical approach combined with an engineering mind. Yes. Gathering and analysis is very much important, which means you have a developer, you know how to develop your code, but apart from that, you must know how 
to not develop the code how we can analyze the impact how we can analyze the um, feasibility check what is feasibility and analysis and the gathering kind of things so before moving your development you must analyze this application is feasible this application is strongly running each and every time the same output so there is those kind of feasibility check you must have to done before starting your development how the application behavior when the application will be slow slow down i'm talking about application is what what has to process and code and fit some applications right suppose uh, you your bot is going to uh, process in a website so that that websites each and every part of the article of the websites details has to be analyzed and feasibility study has to be checked in before starting development of the developer and what else other the ability to guide and work with a team of developers and testers implement automated solutions independently yes see you you are a developer but you are not singing with your tester and your, uh, your lead and everything it, it will not it will not possible and you have to sync with your uh, your team and implementation team everyone you have to sync with sync with them and what else are the ability to analyze business process to achieve process improvements and develop rp solutions around them yes you have to improve on it see based on the improvements suppose uh, bot is stuck in some of the areas um, 10 minutes or 5 minutes in a particular way so you have to improve performance and you have to do some performance improvements based on that how in RPA, how we can move for performance improvements or tuning kind of things. Uh, when you talk about .NET, you have difference in the journey and uh, IOC container. So a lot of things will be available. But when you're coming out with RPA, you have to improve performance in your pool. The thing is, you have to capture each and every validations dynamically each and every controls dynamically and you have to move on it you and you have to set some default configuration such delay high low medium so high always will be 50 millisecond or uh, uh, 60 millisecond low always here 20 millisecond medium always here 40 millisecond this type of configurations you have to come with through XML file into your code. So these kind of things will improve your performance. Able to break down process, estimate time for the past steps. Yes, RP must have to analyze and uh, estimate the process steps. Yes. Suppose how to estimate the process steps? Suppose you have hundred uh, um, suppose uh, you have the you are the RP developer, you want to uh, capture particular data from the website the website has 10 screens and more than um, 120 or 150 controls so how you can uh, go with estimation so your bot is going to run through all the 10 screens that is first thing so you have to split into at least three to four tasks a task contains two pages so if it is one task, how many lines will come? You have to split into controls into. If you have 120, uh, 120 controls, you have to split 30. So 30, two, uh, two ATMX files or two process you are going to involve on it. So in that case, you have to take at least two and a half to three and a half days for development for the control aid device. So this type of estimations you must follow it. You must, uh, you must be uh, estimate based on the process steps. What is the ability to understand document and analyze business process to get into process flow diagrams? Yes. In RPA process flow diagrams is very much important. How the process is going on? Suppose the process is going on login and after the login it will go and 
check with some date or uh, else after that you will go to uh, some other page with with contain some some articulate data so this kind of flow has to be create and analyze RPA developers uh, what else are the experience in other RPA tools yes so uh, some of the developers think uh, I have experience in Profism that's another problem uh, that's not correct you must have experience at least two or three RPA tools Profism Atoms and where are you about that is most important and there is open fan and work use them that is uh, different but you must have at least experience in automation anywhere and the blue prism third is VA part because the master level first most of the monkeys are using automation anywhere our banging sectors are using blue prism and PPO uh, back and automations are using VA part so so it will be more helpful you have the experience with the one or more than tools more than two tools that would be help to get the job immediately you must have some basic experience otherwise otherwise how the interviewer will believe you have the ability to take up the all the analysis everything and the next one demonstration of the tools for learning and applying a new and an updated programming language techniques and software development is different yes you have to apply your mind cards apply your programming language you have to apply your techniques and you have to apply your software development disciplines like stlc uh, designing uh, uh, build test deploy so this type of development disciplines you have to make sure on it this is the way it demonstrates the aptitude of planning and the building the steps and everything to be covered on it what would others be able to work independently and manage multiple completing priorities yes so a developer must have to work develop and independently so when you talk about dotnet or java most of the developers will not work independently but in RPA you must have to work independently that is must and should problem solving and troubleshooting skills with the ability to access mature judgment yes problem solving is very much important if you doesn't know how to solve a problem you want to develop into the you can develop and test and move into the production to the particular your part so if you are completing a development that will not complete your process you have to move into other environments you have to finalize into production in the production you have to give support to assessment one year kind of supports so this is the process it will continue from development build test design deployment and uh, deployment support everything will cover in rpa so you have to be very careful in rpa developments thanks guys thanks for watching this video you can see more details in our next video. Bye.